RPA really had its genesis, its roots, foundations in the financial services sector. Uh, that's certainly where Blue Prism started. And we coined the term RPA in 2012. Uh, and since then, what we've seen, obviously FS has been a very you know, early adopter innovator in this market with many other verticals accelerating fast behind them. And Telco's really been absolutely you know, making big strides to catch up uh, in that market. And I think you know, the reasons that RPA is relevant uh, in that market, same drivers as every other market, you know, really three things, looking to drive the cost envelope and efficiency uh, as much as possible, you know, to take cost out at pace from the organization. I think also delivering exceptional customer service and engagement, developing a stronger link with customers through the use of our platform and emerging technologies and intelligent automation. Uh, and I think also thirdly, uh, the ability to, you know, bring new products to market uh, at pace, so reducing, I think we heard on the stage yesterday, from 18 months to 18 days, you know, how do I go from ideation to creating uh, a service offering that's going to be accretive for growth in the market. So all the reasons that it you know, played in FS and all the reasons why in uh, RPA and intelligent automation uh, is a key driver for growth in telco. The uh, empowerment of employees is really at the heart of what RPA can achieve along with other intelligent automation capability. It really lowers the center of gravity in an organization, uh, taking the robot out of the human, taking away mundane, repetitive processes, lending themselves to automation, allowing the human uh, to be able to you know, deliver services with higher value uh, and empathy to, to the clients. So there's benefit, obviously, for the individual delivering those services, empowering them more. Uh, we've worked with many clients uh, to help take cost out, for example, with EY. You know, they use our platform capability uh, to produce a pipeline of work in their tax practice, you know, which increased by 40%. Uh, you know, instead of then you know, focusing on mundane tasks, those subject matter experts can then focus on higher value solutions for the clients that they service, delivering much more satisfaction and uh, reward for those engaged in delivering those services and better out outcomes for the client. Uh, also, we've worked with many long-standing clients uh, in the telco sector, for example, you know, with Telefonica uh, in their call center environments, taking uh, average call times down from nine and a half minutes to two minutes. Uh, better experience for you know both the person calling in from an experience perspective and the operators in that environment you know having high quality engagement with their customers better interactions better outcomes all round and I think the cultural change um, it really is about the tone at the top so one of the you know the most successful ingredients for any project this is a program of transformational change it requires sea level and executive top-down transformational guidance and that really embeds this culture uh, of innovation you know the digital entrepreneurs in the organization because we have a business-led tool and process uh, really putting the powers power in the hands of the makers of the technology the people are going to drive the business because they know the process is best I think RPA in isolation it needs to be seen in the whole context the continuum of intelligent automation you know this is one component part but it lays a really important foundation for creating an opportunity to bring richer, diverse services, cognitive services, uh, for example, machine learning and applications, other applications of AI into the hands of the business. That's really what sets the journey for transformation uh, at the heart of the business. And I think uh, you know, the clients that we see who embrace that connected RPA strategy uh, are really the ones, you know, from a transformational perspective, who are able to get the most benefit. I think there are many challenges when embarking on uh, a project. As I said, it's really a transformational program of change like many others. Uh, the, the executive, the boardroom initiative, you know, we, we refer to it as top-down mandated but bottom-up innovated. So you need to have that executive sponsorship and engagement from key stakeholders, all driven by a transformation agenda. So approaching it from a transformational perspective around the business outcomes that you want to drive and technology is a lever to help then achieve that, and obviously the people and the processes that fit around that. That's where we see clients having the most impact uh, in creating this change in their organization. I think really, again, getting back to this point about the, the ETON model that TM Forum has constructed, I think gives a really insightful template uh, to how candidate processes should be identified for automation. Uh, so whether that's front office or back office, whether that's billing, whether that's customer journey, uh, provisioning of handsets, you know, whatever the use case may be, there are myriad use cases. I think seeing that template 
as evidenced in the ETON model, uh, you know, really gives uh, some objectivity around how to approach those. But most of all, uh, you know, we see clients who can pivot very effectively. They learn to fail fast. You know, they learn to de develop the proof point very quickly in that pipeline of processes, and that's how they achieve success at scale. The, the ambition to start you know, <laughs> at the beginning, but to start with the end in mind, uh, really clearly about the business outcomes that they want to achieve, and that's looking at it through that lens of you know the cost and efficiency envelope, uh, looking at it through the enhanced you know uh, customer journeys that they want to deliver, the better user experiences, and the speed to market and the growth, uh, and you know that's been a real learning over the last really insightful over the last couple of days, just to hear from many clients uh, and operators how they have created that step change in their business by embracing this technology uh, and enabling the 5G uh, capabilities that we know are there, the market opportunities that are there.